My name is Emma Nidell, and I'm the writer-director of Life Rendered. Life Rendered is a short film that's a hybrid of live action and virtual production and motion capture animation. And it tells the story of Mark, a young gay man in rural Colorado who uses virtual reality to escape and find romance. He's also the caretaker for his disabled cowboy father. I feel like as a writer-director used to living in the live action world, mocap and virtual production in general is allowing me to dream bigger than I usually do. But what I ended up using Unreal Engine for was basically building an animatic of the entire short film, an experiment with things like cinematography, you know, lighting and color, all that, with pacing, with adding in music. And suddenly you're seeing a version of your film come to life before your eyes. It was about a character escaping into virtual reality to experience something as close to reality as possible. And so what that meant, you know, instead of looking at all the crazy camera moves we could do and being really flashy, I actually wanted to ground the film in an indie feeling. And so what that meant, our motion capture team at Riot, and a specific shout out to Ben Rafi, he rigged an actual camera, a real live action camera with motion tracking sensors that our live action cinematographer came out and piloted. All the movement that you see that's handheld in Unreal Engine, that's actually our live action cinematographer breathing and moving. So it gives it a human feel. The virtual production was like something I've never done before. Live action, I was like very, very clear. The way that, that, that I like to approach it with my director is to really go deep, deep into characters, the story, uh, really, really go deep into uh, what the emotions are. I feel like I'm like exploring what is, what the future is how productions are gonna, are gonna work, that this just makes sense. It's mind-blowing, like, the, 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 the effect that this has on filmmaking, you know, the freedom that you get to, 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 uh, to achieve as a creative, you know? Like, all of a sudden you have, like, a team of people that can do, we can do everything. Like, literally, we can really do anything. On set, we had Unreal, we had the characters, um, the mocap streaming into Unreal, and we were able to look at the drawings and be like, this is the camera framing. Okay, it should be behind the character and we should be able to see this part of the environment. This is the framing, this is the type of camera lens. So it was really matching all the storyboard um, in real time in Unreal and Unreal and streaming in the motion capture. All that stuff was new to me really and Unreal was just you know really easy to pick up. We also use uh, some assets on the marketplace. It's a really great way to empower artists. This is a great showcase of how indie filmmaking can be creating um, projects that have that Hollywood scale to them. You know, this is something that is both incredibly intimate when we're in the live action portions, but then can have these sweeping large scale Hollywood effects to it. It's always great to see the beginning and then see the end because you see it in my and you see it grayscale and you see the early environments and you see the mocap animation but then at the end of the day you see the polished animation the effects going off and the hair and the lighting and just it comes together so nicely unreal that it just you know it, it's rendering the it's rendering the idea of the movie you finally get to see what she was thinking about and and there it is for you Filmmaking and technology have always had a symbiotic relationship. Technology is here to make filmmaking the best it can be, create modes of storytelling, or even to wow audiences with epic cinematics that have never before been possible. So don't be daunted by the technology. Dive right in.